Hello everyone. Are you also tired of websites blocking you, your accounts getting flagged or constantly dealing with captchas? You are not alone. These issues are frustrating, especially if you are managing multiple accounts, running automation tasks or scraping data at scale. Now, while most people rely on VPNs, the smart solution is using proxies, especially when paired with the right tools. That's where Floppy Data comes in, which is a powerful proxy service built for speed, anonymity, and access to millions of IPs from around the world. And in this video, I will show you how to use Floppy Data proxies inside GoLogin one of the best anti-detect browsers out there for managing multiple browser profiles without getting flagged. So whether you are doing affiliate marketing, account management or large scale data scraping, this setup will give you a real edge. Plus I've got a 30% off promo code for you. Just use it while checkout and you'll get 30% off right in the description of this video. Make sure to click the link in the description to grab this deal and follow along as I walk you through how everything works. So guys, before we talk about how to manage multiple social media profiles, let's first talk about floppy data proxies. Floppy data is a trusted and premium proxies provider. They claim to have 99.99% .99 of uptime. They claim to have proxies in more than 195 countries and the proxy protocols they offer are HTTP, HTTPS and Soxwife. Their proxies starts from $0.9 per GB. The proxy types they offer are residential proxies, mobile proxies and data center proxies. Talking about their features, they've got average speed of less than 300 ms. They've got a very good uptime. They've got uh, millions of global IPs in over 195 countries. They've also got uh, rotating and static options for proxies. Talking about the pricing, the pricing for residential and mobile proxies starts from $2.95 per GB and proxies and pricing for data center proxies is just $0.9 zero dollar per gb and when you buy high volumes the pricing can come around two dollar per gb and when you buy more than one tb of proxy volume then you can get a custom code as well and talking about the payment methods you can pay via visa mastercard or more than 50 cryptocurrencies talking about the easy proxy setup you can uh, you can set up proxies in less than one minute with their easy proxy pool setup wizard which i will show you in uh, later in this video and talking about some integrations as well uh, they've got integrations for headless browsers like selenium puppeteer they've got integrations for anti-detect browsers like go login octo browser multi-login ads power for scraping tools like parse hub octoparse and for automation frameworks like Playwright and browser extensions for Chrome, Brave, Opera and Safari. So basically they've got integrations for anything you might uh, need to use flop proxies with and you can explore the, their directory of all integrations from here. And then they have got uh, 24 by 7 support that works for you. Uh, a flexible refund and payments policy and personal call assistant if you might need help from their support team and then they have got proxies available in 195 plus locations you can explore the locations from here now let's go ahead and sign up for floppy data and start using their proxies before we do that let me mention that i've got 30 percent off deal on floppy data and the link for that in is in the description of this video and in the first pinned comment as well. So make sure you click that link and find the coupon code right there in the description and use it to get that 30% off. So you can click on get started, create your account, verify your email and sign in to your dashboard. Once you do that, your dashboard will look something like this. Um, and here you can see um, the proxy 
volume available is 1.5 GB because I had 2 GB of uh, proxies and I already have used half GB proxies already. Uh, so you might not have any available proxies here. You can you know go ahead and buy proxy data volume and then you will find this uh, order wizard where you can first choose which proxy type you want residential mobile or data center if you choose data center you can then you know choose how many gb of proxies you want and then the pricing for the same and all these proxies are on subscription basis so then you can you know add to cart and type in the promo code that you got in the description of this video and then click on subscribe you can choose the payment method you want to use you can choose stripe or crypto payments and the one suits you the best after you do that you will see the proxy volume over here so if you want to buy more you can do that but um, the next step uh, should be to create a proxy pool so creating a proxy pool is very easy here you just need to choose uh, the proxy type you want residential mobile or data center um, the proxy volume you already have is for residential so I will choose residential then give it any name like uh, for example I will say I entirely proxy proxies um, this is just for the identification then choose Italy as location then you can also choose a city uh, for you know precise targeting for the IPs and then you can choose the session type so when it comes to uh, session type uh, it very much depends on your use case if you want to you know use proxies for managing multiple social media or advertising accounts the session type must be keep IP as long as possible because you need static and consistent IP if you use any or other you know um, session type then the chances are high that your accounts uh, may get flagged or banned because you don't use your you know social media or advertising accounts um, from a random IP every time you open it so you need to keep the IP as long as possible but in on the contrary if you have a different use case for example uh, web scraping or sneaker copying or anything else um, you may have uh, a need of you know choosing any different one for scraping the best uh, one is to change the IP on each request and then depending on your use case for automation and everything you can also go for changing the IPs every 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes or 20 minutes so I am going to choose keep IP as long as possible for now then you need to choose uh, the protocol uh, options here are uh, HTTP, HTTPS and SOX5 the most common uh, methods or protocols are HTTP and HTTPS I can choose HTTP right here and uh, for some use cases like telegram proxies you might need to choose SOX5 as well so for our use case uh, the best method is to choose HTTP proxies and then choose how many proxies quantity you need or endpoints you need um, for multiple accounts um, you can choose how many accounts you will be creating uh, that many you know proxies you can create from here so you may not need much just uh, let's say five and then click on create proxy pool after you click the proxy pool it doesn't take a while to you know configure it and then you will see five proxies in this table so you can see uh, separate host port username and password credentials for each proxy and then if you want this list as a proxy uh, this proxy list as a list then you can click on as list and you will find it right here now you can see uh, the config above proxy type location cities rotation protocol and if you want to add more proxies in the same pool you can do that from here but if you want to change the configuration you may need to you know create a different proxy pool so that is the way how prox floppy data um, proxy pool wizard works and when you use these proxies you will find the statistics for this particular uh, proxy pool in here we have proxies as a table where we have host port username password as a separate uh, credentials you we can copy each and configure in the software we want and then we have a list 
so the most common way of you know using proxies is as a list if you want to import bulk proxies in software you can copy the whole list and paste it right there but if you want to use um, individual uh, proxy and then you can copy each uh, proxy list and then you can you know paste in your uh, entity browsers or anywhere you want to use it the most common format is this hostname port username password but if your software asks for a different format you can choose from here so since we now have uh, the proxy list uh, already configured now we need to you know use these proxies or test these proxies the biggest mistake people make is uh, use these proxies with different browsers and they you know just you know configure those proxies uh, different different proxies in different different browsers and that's the big mistake i will show you why is uh, it is a big mistake because for example i will show you in firefox there is an option in the settings to configure a custom proxy okay so this is where i can configure my uh, you know custom proxy so for for example i've got the proxy from uh, floppy data i can you know uh, copy the credentials from here and paste it here and this proxy will work in mozilla firefox okay but why it is not recommended i will tell you in a moment for example i will reload this it will ask me for the authentication i can you know copy paste the username and password click on sign in and save and then uh, i will go for do not prompt so it will not ask for the password authentication again then i will reload so see basically if i go ipinfo.io and click on my ip i will show you basically the proxy actually works you can see i configured proxies from italy and i am able to use it in you know a firefox but the problem is inconsistent browser fingerprints and that you can find out in the pixel scan browser fingerprint test so let's run the pixel scan browser fingerprint test to see what is the issue with use with proxies being used in this way so i will hit the start test and you can see i am using firefox version 139 but the time zone detected is different from the proxy so the time zone is from india and the proxies being used are from italy so guys this test right there uh, tells you that this is not a very good practice to you know use uh, proxies in mozilla firefox or any browser using extension or in its default setting because it generates you know uh, inconsistent browser fingerprints and you're very likely that you are masking your fingerprints so this thing is very easily detectable so do not use this way to you know use social media multiple social media accounts uh, make sure you have go login talking about go login go login is an anti-detect browsers for managing multiple social media accounts whether linkedin ebay facebook instagram or anything and not just social media accounts you can also manage multiple uh, advertising accounts likewise so uh, it is available for windows and mac and you can download it on your computer and talking about its pricing they have got a very easy pricing that you can explore um, and for free you can get up to three browser profiles for free so i've already downloaded it and uh, created an account and logged into it i will just open my go login and i will also you know create a new browser profile and add the floppy data proxies inside it so that i will i can also show you the same uh, you know test in go login profile uh, here is my go login browser and here are the proxies window so you can see both windows in one screen so now i will go ahead and click on add profile in go login you can write a name for this profile for example if i am creating this profile to manage a specific google ads profile i can you know write it google ads one you can you know configure it in a folder as well but let's not do that you can also you know choose which operating system you want it uh, for mac intel mac arm so like that and then 
go to proxies and this is where you need to you know configure the proxy that you already configured in floppy data so uh, from here you will go to copy location paste it here copy port paste here sorry let's copy port paste here then copy the username paste here copy password and paste here then you can also check the proxy before you know actually set up the profile click on check proxy and it will tell you uh, what's the exact location of this IP and you can see the same location Italy and the city is Milan right and it is telling you everything about the proxy and you can go ahead and click create this profile so now we have already created this profile and uh, we already configured this in Firefox Firefox also the same IP same proxy and it gave us inconsistent browser fingerprints but let's test this now in go login to run this profile you just simply need to click on run okay it takes a while to you know load the browser profile and it will open a new browser window where this specific proxy is working here is the you know go login uh, browser profile window and now here I can run the same test okay and when you run the pixel scan uh, fingerprint test you will see all green marks right here I'm so confident that I'm already saying it because I have used go login for so long time and uh, I have been managing multiple social media and also multiple advertising accounts using go login anti-detect browsers and this is one of the best anti-detect browsers out there that you can use so guys this is it from my side about why you should use go login for multiple ad or social media accounts and i highly recommend floppy data um, it's an affordable fast and reliable proxy solution for all your needs and whether you need proxies for web scraping automation or just secure browsing floppy data has the best options for you so make sure you check the video's description for the links to the best deal on go login and floppy data and if you like this video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i will see you in the next video till then have a great day bye bye